once again, good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to some more road trip adventure. Last time we did a lot of stuff. It was a bit of an up and down session. And by up and down, I mean we were jumping and stuff. But anyway, last time we went to Desert Raceway Rank C and uh, it, it didn't go great. Definitely could have gone better, I will say that much. But we just got to a brand new town. I didn't even mean to go to the Q's factory first, but hey, that's what happened. We now have a fan club. Fans of Vlad. We now have a fan club. Is this gonna be a cutscene? How do I, how do you how do we know that? I got a blink I got the blinking thing on the GPS, which means that we got um a message at my garage, which is very far away. Here's a Lancer. Too low, way too low. Why are there such low buildings everywhere? I want to climb a tall building. There's nothing like that here. I've made up my mind. I'm going to build the world's tallest tower. You're right, we're literally right next to a tower. Oh, so should we tell him? Should we tell him about the empty town? My city. That's what I assumed it was. We have all these people in the game that, um, okay, circle is reversed. There we go. Um, we have all these people in every town, every town, that want to, you know, build things. There are so many entrepreneurs in this game. This is such a pleasant little town, though. I mean, this is Sandopolis, right? This is supposed to be the Vegas, right? This is supposed to be Vegas, I'm assuming. But there, but he's not wrong. These are a bunch of small buildings. I would expect more buildings to be large in this town. Anyway, we're still getting pictures. I don't actually know what the pictures are <laughs> supposed to do. If there's anything that they're supposed to do even. Maybe they... Maybe they, are, they aren't supposed to do anything, but we're gonna get them all. I'm gonna catch them all. I'm gonna catch all the cameras. The exact same picture, but at night. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> these, are, these are the dueling... The dueling photo booths. But these pho these photographers are too powerful, though. Like seriously, they have the power to change the the entire um, cycle of the sun. Is this one at sundown? No, I was gonna say if it wasn't gonna be at sundown, I was gonna scream. They have the power to warp space and time in order to make it a certain time of day for your picture to be taken. Is this a drive-in wedding booth like in Vigilante Eight? No, this is the next city. I don't want to go to the next city. I want to be in Sandopolis. This place is amazing. It's got sand. What more could you want? Yo, it's a Mazda 787. <laughs> I travel all over to teach kids various subjects, but as you can see, I'm aging. No, no, not the 787. Do you know of a large and peaceful area to open a school? I guess we'll tell them about it. A perfect place called my city. Sounds very interesting. All right. We're just we're just going around getting infrastructure for this uh, for this vacant city. Okay, we got to go into the giant soccer ball. You're kidding me right now. Please tell me that this is a competitive game. This is soccer registration. It's a three on three format. Whoever scores three points first wins. Oh no! I need to get players. No. Isn't there anyone here that can just play? Dude, no! I want to play soccer. Come on, dude. Boo! I don't ha I still don't have any friends, dude. We are on a part two of this series, and I still have no friends. But I got plenty of pictures, though. Look at this. It's like... <laughs> it's just... It's just like Test Drive Even Destruction Soccer. Oh my goodness. So this game... But this game came out before Test Drive Even Destruction. That means that Test Drive Even Destruction stole the idea from Road Trip Adventure. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. Oh, another warping of space and time. Don't mind, don't mind this. So this, like, Volkswagen Lupo not only runs every single uh, photo booth in the town at the same time and can teleport between them all, but the Volkswagen Lupo can also, on top of that, warp space and time so it's the perfect time of day for the perfect picture. This is incredible. Okay, we're going, and this is, oh, roulette. This is roulette registration. Bet anywhere you like. If you win, you can get some money. Oh, hell yeah, I want to play roulette. Let's go. Start the roulette. 
Okay. Oh dear, it's actually- Oh my god, the simulated gambling. Oh no, I can't bet on zero. What is this nonsense? I want to bet on zero. Okay, we're gonna put- Oh, I can bet a lot of butt. I'm gonna put a hundred butt on black. Let's go. Come on, black. Come on. Where's the ball? Am I the ball? Um, oh my god, I am the ball. <laughs> um, did I win? Lose. God fucking damn it. So I literally am the ball. Alright, well, law of averages, let's do black again. <laughs> Okay, um, come on, Black. <laughs> come on, Black. Yes. Got it. Can we move while we're on the board? All right. I want it back. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay, I got my butt back. All right, I, I'm, I'm broke even. Let's, let's, let's throw it all away. <laughs> we're gonna bet another, we're gonna bet 100 on seven to 12. I really need a new, I really need an engine upgrade, so it would be good if I could get this. Uh, yes! 12! Yes! Winner! I got a thousand butt, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. Yay, congratulations, you earned some money. You're goddamn right I am. I'm good at roulette. You literally draw- imagine, imagine if you actually had to like stand in the roulette thing, you had to jump in like you're like going off a diving board. Jumping in to the roulette wheel. Oh god! I didn't- I thought I was gonna get stopped. I thought that was gonna be a brick wall and I was gonna stop. No, no, I actually went over. Yay, bending space of time again. Woo! Figure eight. Hell yeah, dude. What's this? We got a figure eight, cone figure eight. Is this the Gran Turismo license challenges right here? Figure eight registration. Don't tell me I need friends here, too. Aim for the goal following the determined route. Okay. Do I want to go to the figure eight arena? Uh, yes. Let's go to the figure eight arena. All right. Yeah. Woo. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 no. Okay, so it's a basic Salem course. Do not hit the traffic cones. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, so. We just gotta follow the, 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 these. Oh, you don't have an e-brake. Oh, I remember that, uh, that one race. We are incapable of turning. Did I do it? Miss course, bruh. Course miss, no it wasn't. Oh wait, there was a different goal. God damn it. Okay, whatever. So, I go like that, and now we're turning! Uh, turn! Turn! It doesn't turn! I need an e-brake or something, come on, dude. Go, go, go! Got it! I think we did it? Yeah, I got it! Hell yeah! Okay, now, goal, straight line and U-curve. Need a smooth transition. Okay. I don't need no smooth transition. I need an e-brake. Okay. We just gotta take everything wi as wide as possible. Ugh. Come on. Uh, turn. We got 30 seconds to do this. Come on. Okay. Ugh. It's so slow. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Miss course, no it wasn't. I was going for the cone. Come on, dude. Come on. No. It doesn't turn. Come on, dude. I don't think this car has an e-brake. Okay, you are just trying to piss me off at this point. Figure eight, step one, did not any hit any traffic cones. We are accomplishing many things in this game today. Yo, is this an ice cream shock? Cake, cake. Oh, you gotta know I'm going to the cake shop. Hello. Would you like to try a cake? Yes. You didn't come here to- No, I did come here to eat cake. 
I was asked by the manager to do this part-time job side. This is an annoying job. Carrying around some cake shop side makes me look bad now. Oh, jeez. Don't you race around town? How about doing this? You driving around anyway? All you need to do is drive around with our sign on how much? 30 button! 30 button! Absolutely! Put on the cake sign. Cake, yes! Woo! We are advertising cake. Hell yeah, dude. I, I adore this cake sign. Ice Cream Man is ready. He has many parts. Okay, so he has the Blue Max and the Blue Max V2 and the Mad. You mad bro. 290 power. Wow. I need that is what I need. Ooh, feather. Better top speed and acceleration. Or maybe the feather would be better. More fog lights. There's still no wings. Dude. Oh, stickers. 10,000 butt for stickers. Oh my god, dude. Bus horn. Okay, so. Either we go for the mad engine or the feather chassis. It says better top speed and accelerations. That's two, that's two birds with one stone. So let's buy the feather chassis and let's see if that helps me out at all in the desert, desert raceway. Desert raceway rank C, attempt number two. I did not do good in this race the first time. Let's see if I can improve my driving abilities. And we're off. Stop rubbing against me or slowing me down. The friction is too much. Getting blocked, IRL. I like the crystals, the crystal caves here, dude. There's a, there was a, the crystal cavern in South Dakota, dude. I went to that when I was like in fourth grade and it was incredibly lame when we went there. We, they actually thought that they were gonna find gold in an abandoned, now um, tourist attraction mine shaft. Dude, stop running into me. Look at all these positions just sitting in front of me like this. Come on, go, 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 go. God, you get caught on the walls. They just reach out and grab you. Like the Steve Miller band. Oh, it's a three car breakaway out there that I'm trying to join. I've got a lot more speed now. It's just, we've got the problems in the corners. I actually need to start using the brakes again. I need to start actually driving like a, a race car driver instead of like I'm playing Cherokee or something. I actually need to start using the brake pedal. Alright, if I hadn't gotten held up on multiple occasions, such as right there, I probably would have won this race, but I don't think we're going to get there in time. Car is, the car is sliding. The car turns better than it did. I mean, it didn't. It, I don't think it turns better, but like we're definitely faster. God, dude, if they just hadn't been blocking me the entire race, I would have won this. Unbelievable. I bet once I get the mad engine though, we're going to be mad fast. 500 butt, that's it. That's it. That's like that's like the same that you'd get for, uh, for the first race in the game, which was really easy, and I won with no parts. Okay, so, as it turns out, I actually did not install the feather chassis before starting that race. So, um, we're going to try it again. How did I do so much better this time than last time? Was I really sucking that badly in the last session? Good lord, I didn't even have the part installed. That The car was driving the exact same as it did the first time. Okay, so, you know... Okay, so now we're gonna win this by... <laughs> okay, now we're gonna win this easily. Oh, here we go. Here we go for the lead! Get out of here, bitch! No, 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 get off me! Come on, go! Go car! Come on, dude! Where'd all the speed that I had go? Keep on blocking, keep on blocking, keep on blocking, got his ass. Alright, well that was pretty embarrassing considering the fact that uh, I did, I, I put an entire upgrade on the car in that race. <laughs> well, we finally got his ass though, that's good. That's good. We managed to accomplish something in this game, and now I'm gonna get 500 extra monies because if I hadn't won it the first time, then I wouldn't have had to do it a second time. So now we're that's just that's extra money. All it is is extra money. 800 bucks. That's the same thing that you get in every other track. What's the point? Honestly, what's even the point? All right, next city. Or no, there's a, there's an entire second section of this city. Oh, is this the old town? Is this the, this the ghost town? What's up? 
Ha 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 ha, I love to play games. That's why I made the best game. I want all the gamers to play my awesome game. Then I can build my dream house. I wish there was a people were, place where people were into games and the cost of land was cheap. All right, so we're building Gamer City. Gamer City. Let's go. Oh my god, it's, a, it's, it's James Bond. Martin. Howdy. You know, recently I saw a suspicious car carrying tires in the west side of town. Definitely suspicious, yes. In a, in a, in a world comprised entirely of cars, someone carrying tires is incredibly suspicious. Good thing, good thing Agent Martin's on the case. Can we go in here? Oh my god, we can go in here. We're going into the ghost town. Wanted. Johnny the Drag Racer. How about it? You want to challenge me? You want to drag race? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'm, I, I don't think we're going to win, but I, but I got a feeling that we're going to buy parts at some point where we can beat him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought about as much. Man was there before it even reached nine seconds. Good lord, dude. He is too good. He is simply too good. He's a 300. You're not quite there. You can't win against Johnny racing like that. These guys are so cool, dude. They're so, they're so, like, not ego-driven. Every character that we've met in this game so far has been an absolute bro. Alright, what's this? What could this possibly be? It's a Mini Cooper. Oh, hi, mister. My daddy said he was gonna buy a toy so I could pretend to be a cowboy. So he bought me a toy gun. Oh, no. Does it look good on me? Yes, it looks, it's very good. Very good. I don't want to get shot. I'm only saying that because I don't want to get shot. You're afraid to play with it. Wow. Wow, at least you're responsible. Responsible gun owners. Only responsible gun owners in the Sandopolis city. Alright, what is this gonna be? Hello, it's Corvette. I'm Captain Rombo. <laughs> nice to meet you. Phenomenal name. This poster. You have a good eye. You're right. He's the suspect. His name is Butch. He's a tire thief. <laughs> Troublesome situation. Yes, he's hard to catch. If I could get some info. Oh, I can't ask you to, no. You're not a police officer. Damn. Not wrong. I have not been enlisted for my services yet. I, there, there, maybe there's an easy, guaranteed money police officer job in this game like it is in Cherokee. High noon, man. High noon. Are we, is there gonna be a is there gonna be like a gunfight like a Red Dead Redemption gunfight in this game? That would be incredible. Oh, we got a bar. Well, we're gonna have to go learn about some Churro Q coins. Yep, it's the same guy too. Same guy runs every bar. Do I know about Churro Q coins? No, I have no idea. Please tell me. I hear it is behind Quick Pick Shop number thirty-seven in Sandopolis. <laughs> At least he didn't just say the Quick Pick Shop. It's like no, that's not very specific. Not very specific at all. Cool. Very cool indeed. Oh, I'm leading him off. Got him right in the driver's side door. I haven't seen any movies. If I had my own movie theater, I'd play all my favorites. I'll just build my own theater. Is there a place where I can build a movie theater? Yep. There sure is. How big is this city gonna be? Everyone in the, and like everyone in every town wants to build stuff. It's incredible, honestly. I need to go find that guy that wanted to build this build this shop that takes Trocue coins because good lord, dude. I have found plenty of them and I have zero use for them. So it looks like you can go into the buildings that are marked on the map. If there's a building but it's not marked on the map, then it isn't real. Are you lucky? I'm always lucky. I can teach you how to win a roulette. Oh my goodness. You should bet on ones with better odds like red or black. When you become a pro like me, you'll be able to bet on a specific number. Okay, if you say so. We have professional roulette players. Alright, here's the highway. Let's get back on the open road, see what's going on in the next city. No one's ever driving on the highways, which makes sense, but like, also doesn't make sense. It makes sense for the game, but like, in actuality, it's kind of unusual. Oh boy, are we, we're like right next to the next city. What is this? What are these ancient Inca temples? What on earth, dude? How do you access those? Do you have to, do you, I, I can't, I can't drive off the highway like you can in most games. They actually have the infrastructure here. 
and the sun's kind of broken because I'm blinking in and out of the sunset right now. The filters cannot keep up with the absolute pace of these highways. Oh, we're going to the tunnel! Yeah! Tunnel in action! Look at this! Oh, there's a scenic overlook on the side. There's a photo, there's two photo places, obviously. Obviously the scenic overlook has, has photoshopped. Amazing. We got a picture of the tunnel. Thank you. Thank you, this is such a good service. It's the same picture, but at night. You'd think that they'd like have you in the dirt. Where you can see like the, like the, like the thing. Like we come out and we can see directly out. And I mean, I mean, there's not much to see, obviously. But like still, they could have put like an island out there or something. Oh, the highway stops and it becomes a dirt road over in the Grand Canyon. So, Chestnut Canyon, Mushroom Road. Let's check out the canyon. Oh, we're climbing the sides! Oh, you can climb the sides, you can run the sides like this is Sonic 2. Look at this, is there camping? Oh, I'm gonna fall off the edge! No, I don't wanna fall into the canyon! Well, there's a Q factory in the canyon, so that's good. Look at this! Oh, and every single one of these cabins has a loading screen, doesn't it? Yep. Every single one of them. Hello, look, Lucy races like a wind. La la. Lucy is fast as an antelope. La. You were listening, right? Just like this song. My driving technique is great. That's, an, that's a concerningly large axe back there. I'm not sure how cars are supposed to use axes. Are there going to be crazed axe murderers in the woods here? Just wait. There's this is this is like this is absolutely gonna be like a Friday the thirteenth thing here. Look at the hunting rifle! Good lord! Hey, you know what? To the west of Quick Pick Shop number 62, if you go down the cliff and drive for a while, you'll find an entrance to a cave. You can do rock climbing there. There's a hillbilly who loves rough rocks, but it's not for me. Hey you, go see him and tell me about him. Were you just talking to yourself there? Why does that story sound so similar to the time that I almost got raped at a campground? Just go over to the cave. You can see some good stars there. You've been traveling around about the goddess of a pawn. Have I? Do you do I know him? No, I don't know. I don't know about it. Well, it's nothing big. In a pond in Mushroom Load, there lives a beautiful goddess. You can hear a nice singing voice in the morning. Okay, sure. This is just the commune of RX-7s. Is this like a cult? Is this canyon full of cult members? Cult RX-7 members. I'm dizzy, my blood pressure is low. Okay, so yes, as it turns out, they're poisoned. It's a, it's a canyon cult that rapes each other in caves in the woods of RX-7s. Mazda cult. I cannot believe this. And there, of course there's a bar. Every town has a bar. Okay, I'm gonna stop going to the bars because this this is not helpful. The bars in the Choro Q game were like the only place where the plot ever progressed. And now they're absolutely worthless. I would love to get a souvenir picture at the Mazda cult. Look at this! Oh, look at this. This is picturesque. Okay, so it, they may be a cult, but they do have very nice scenic overlooks. I'm not interested in people slower than me. Wow. Fucking wow, dude. That's brutal. Can you race? You'll be faster if you're equipped better. That's too bad. What? Okay, this actually is a cult. Nothing about this place makes any sense whatsoever. My name is Wild. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. <laughs> hey, listen up. It's my daughter's birthday, but I can't find a nice present. Do I have any idea? Tell me if you find a cute doll. Okay. Yeah, I'm, guess I'm guessing his daughter is like the virgin that they have to offer up as a sacrifice. I'm driving off the cliff. I've had enough of this cult. Oh, dude, they weren't kidding about the cave. No, I jumped straight into it. This is an entrance to rock climbing, which leads to Mr. Mason's cabin. The mountain is very rough, so you need to find an easier route, or you will fall. Do rock climbing? Okay. Everybody asks, do rock climbing? But no one ever asks, how rock climbing? Okay, so you can't go up that. 
Oh my god, we're actually like, oh, is, this is gonna be like, get over it by, by Foddy. Okay, well, I hope there isn't a time limit, because we're gonna be here for a while. Oh my god, oh my god, there, well, there's the slope. Okay, no, 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 Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, I played Getting Over It by Fan Benny Foddy. Bennett Foddy. And, um, I'm having flashbacks. I never played it for the channel because everyone else did. But, like, I I'm seeing the similarities right here. This is some pretty intense music for rock climbing. I guess, I mean, I've never done it myself, so maybe, maybe you get the adrenaline rush and the and the Queensryche starts playing in your head, but like, I don't know, man. It's getting thinner and thinner. It's a good thing I didn't bring like a truck body to this. Oh, oh, here's the slope. Yeah! Come on, come on, you can do it! No, 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 no! Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh my god. No, we're not fine. I'm actually stuck. Oh! Okay, nope, nope, we got it, we got out. Oh, 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 oh. Something tells me this wasn't, te this wasn't beta tested. They weren't kidding when they said the way up was rough. Good lord. I played enough Skyrim to have practice for climbing sheer cliffs. So, I feel like I am the man for the job here. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna back up slowly. And we're gonna turn. Oh, it's green. Oh, it's green. Go! It, it only took th it only took two minutes and 48 seconds, but we made it. Ho, ho. Oh, it's Santa. You climbed this steep mountain. You are something. Thank you. You must be tired, but this tiredness feels so comfortable to a hillbilly. You're a Mercedes Benz. You're not, there's nothing redneck about Mercedes Benz. That's why I choose to live here. Come climb this mountain again. That's all. That's all I get. Completed rock climbing. Completed rock climbing within two minutes. Okay, we're supposed to get it in under two minutes. Okay. Maybe I can do that when, like, I've discovered, like, the rock climbing tires. I don't even know if there's, like, synthesizing in this game. Hopefully there isn't, because that might be... That might be even a little bit too much for this game. I can already barely afford to buy the regular items. You think I'm going to be able to buy the, uh... Synthesized items? Come on. Oh no! Oh jeez! Hi, Rectan. I thought that said Rectum. Can you raise? You'll be faster if you're... Okay, it's the same guy, so... The same people go up and down the... Up and down the cliffside here and... And stuff. So there's a mushroom road over here, I guess. Stance! My name is Stance. Current join... Jo goal is to drive... Jo hang on a second, hang on a second. What was that? Bruh. Yeah, join a wonderful team. Bruh. Oh, well, I guess, I guess he said he wants to join a team, not make a friend. So I suppose, I suppose that's how that goes then. Oh, look at this. It's gorgeous. No, this guy's in like a, like an off-road skyline. Get back here. I love this. Saucy. <laughs> I've always longed for a city with a park since I was little. We don't have a park in Chestnut Canyon. You're thinking of making a park. Yes, I want, I want you in my city. Cause you are like a Skyline race car. Oh my god, this is like Oasis in, in, in Flat Out, or Flat Out, Fallout 3. You just go from wasteland to picturesque greenery landscape. Look at this. All right, now if, if, the, if the canyon wasn't the cult, we are definitely driving directly to the cult's front door at this point. That is definitely what we're doing. Look at this. It's the Mushroom Kingdom! And it has its own Q's factory. So there's a factory for the canyon and a factory for Mushroom Land. Oh my goodness gracious. This is where the Smurfs live. Wow, dude. Alright, we're at the Quick Pick Shop. Oh my god, there's two tracks here too. Mushroom Road and Mushroom Circuit. Alright, well let's, let's go to the Q's factory. All right, well, I guess we'll do a race at Mushroom Land. River Raceway or Slick Track? Oval Raceway and Slick Track. Okay, 
I'm guessing this this is when we're gonna need like the off-road tires. Got a feeling. Got a feeling that we're gonna end up needing some off-road tires for this action. Oh, this is this is shaped the exact same way as the winter mountain track. Oh, but I'm fast. Oh, but I am very fast. Oh, oh, into the river, flying into the ravine. Oh, the GT is having a bad time. Oh, I'm having a bad time. Oh, into his ass. Oh, I got his ass. We're, 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 we're stuck. We're stuck. Oh, we're stuck in the river. Oh, it's lagging. Oh, the lag. Oh, no. Oh, no, again. I don't know if it's actually lag or if like I'm just getting stuck on something, but oh my goodness. No, not the catering. Not the catering. Okay, well, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, the mushroom reached out and grabbed me. No, stop it. Oh, the GT is very fast. Oh, the GT is very fast. All right, well, that's a lap around mushroom or what is this? River track? River raceway? So like there's an outer ring version of this section Probably f for if you don't have the upgrades, but like I'm still driving on it anyway, so. And I can keep up with this dude. Like in certain places, I can keep up with this dude. It's just that the hardest section for the GT. Stop! The hardest section for the GT is right at the start of the lap, so that's where my biggest problem is. Look at how far ahead we are of everyone else. Oh my god. Alright, well, I'm right up his ass, coming to the final lap. I'm probably gonna have to run, like, a perfect lap if I'm gonna beat this guy, because I think I have the pace. It's just, he's he's faster in a straight line than I am, but he always screws up on this section right here, because he keeps flying into things. Oh, but he did, he did really good through this section this time. Oh, we're gonna lap the garbage truck. Oh, he's still floating. Oh, he's stuck! Oh, he's stuck! He had a really bad turn. Come on, go, 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 go. I need as much space as I can get. Garbage truck move. He is right up my ass, dude. Go, 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 go. Oh my God, there's a guy in like a, in like a box truck racing this. And he's still beating Garbage Man. Come on. I'm winning, but I don't know by how much. There's no look back button in this game. Uh, go. All oh, the lap traffic. Oh, I hope the lap traffic helps me out. Final quarter. Here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Coming to the line. I don't know where he's at. I think I'm I think I pulled away from him, dude. I think I had I think I won. Winner! Yeah! Oh, by a lot. He must have gotten really held up back there. Wow. I'm not sure if I like the physics engine in this game better than in the in the in the other Cherokee game, because this is more of a traditional racing game. But like Cherokee was was so unique in the way that the cars drove. I hate the spinning out mechanics. I think that's total garbage. But like it it, it really did give the it give the game its own identity. Because I don't think I own any racing game anywhere like Cherokee. This game is similar to a lot of arcade racers, which is not a bad thing. But definitely, I wasn't expecting it to drive like this. Yeah, you can see the Ford GT getting held up by traffic there. He's not smart enough. So I now have 2,000 but. Is there a parts shop in this town? Yes. Yes, in fact, there is. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so we got the wet roads. Water durable. Three stars on wet roads. Super water durable. Yeah, that's just objectively better. Off-road tires suck. We want the HG wet. And then we have racing tires here. Okay, so there's a Mad V2, which is 4,000 baht. I don't know what it means by energy use. I'm guessing that, like, once we get to, like, Grand Prix stuff, it's probably gonna have energy. And we'll probably have to, like, go down pit road and stuff. Ooh, power. Power gear ratios. Mmm. Interesting. Gonna want to get 2x quick at some point. No wings, still. <laughs> Will we ever unlock wings? But every place has tires and every place has engines. So let's just take baby steps. Let's pick up the man. We're gonna buy the man. 
And eventually we'll probably come back and get the power transmission and probably some wet HG wet tires and racing tires. Yeah. And I probably have enough, you know, parts now at this point to probably be able to win every single Class C race. No issues. Yeah. There's the Oval Speedway that we don't have unlocked yet. Okay, so here's Golf Club. Oh, we gotta do the golfing game. We gotta do the golfing game. Oh my god! It's a Volkswagen Golf! Of course! Of course the Volkswagen Golf is managing the golf course. Of course! <laughs> it's fun. I guess we're going to the golf course. To the golf course! Away! Oh my god, it's actual golf. It's not even mini golf, it's actual golf. Wait, you're telling me that I need to drive into the ball? Oh no. Be the putt. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yes, dude. This is amazing. <laughs> Great shot. Oh my god, dude. Okay, well. One more, come on. I'm gonna get a boardy! I got a boardy. Is that a boardy? Does that count? Does that count on the point or do I actually have to get it in the flag? Yeah! Yeah! Got him. Oh, I'm under. I'm under par, guys. Let's go. Three, par three hole with a gentle curve. Watch for bunkers in front of the green. We've actually got golf terminology. Oh my god. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Here I come! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's going straight for the bunker. No! Golf ball, no! Stop! Please! Stop! Oh, this is precarious. He lines up the shot. He's taking a look. He's taking a look at the goal. He puts his finger in the air. He has a slight breeze to the southeast. Heading in deep now. Shot up. And sinks it. Absolutely sinks it. A perfect shot. Par. Par 5 hole with right angle near curve. Need longer carry distance. You're, you're telling me, man. You don't need to say it. You don't need to say it twice. I can tell, man. We need some real long carry distance in this one. The first shot is just not fair because you have no buildup, especially considering the fact that I didn't go back to my factory to put in the uh, to put in the brand new like 100 extra horsepower engine that I just bought. That pro I probably would have benefited from that, but we're gonna go back all the way up here and we're gonna send this shot to the moon. To the moon. Uh. I feel like that didn't really go very far. This reminds me of the PS1 Monopoly games music. NASCAR Nixon recently told me about a website where you can download a bunch of old game soundtracks and like, I have laid waste to that website. Like, I have so much background music for all of my videos now, it's great. Okay, here we go! Oh, perfect shot, perfect shot! I am so good at this game. I am so good at golf. How is this really par five, dude? If I hadn't gotten that first one in under, in, in, in under par, we would just be on par this entire match. This is ridiculous. Oh, look at this, it's a, it's a little uphill thing. I'm, I am the ball. I am the ball, like in roulette. One shot at glory. Okay, get in there. No! No, bounce back! No! No! This is so unfair. It went past the, oh my God, dude, no. How am I supposed to do this in par? You have to be perfect the entire time, dude. And I don't even know if hitting it at a faster speed makes a difference. It looks like it barely makes any difference. Ridiculous. Garbage game. 
oh my god, there's eight holes, and I'm only on the, there's nine holes, and I'm only on the fourth hole. Okay, this one's a gentle curve. At least this one's a gentle curve. I need that after the last, after the last one. It's still par three though, which is ridiculous. See, like this one I could probably get into. But it has to hit the, it has to hit the pole, otherwise it's, it's going straight past. Come on, yes, yes, oh! It's a good thing the hole is very large too, that definitely is a benefit. Okay, we're back under. We're back under par, let's go dude. Let's go. Oh, the next one's a five, Oh, Watch for the bunkers, okay, I will. I will watch for the bunkers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't bounce too much. Stop. Stop the ball. All right, we're good. Where is the hole at? You expect me to get this in five? Are you kidding me? Come on, get in there in four, come on. You can do it, ball. The ball couldn't do it, actually, as it turns out. Come on, no! Oh my god, dude, are you serious? What am I supposed to do? It's like on a perch! Camera, I need you to cooperate. Okay, get in. Okay, fucking thank god for that, okay. This game sucks. You're garbage. All right, back even again. You expect me to get this in three? Come on! What happened? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yep, 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 yeah, you would. You absolutely would. Yeah, don't mind the fact that I tried to curve the car so the ball would go to the right. Oh, the, the, that doesn't actually matter. But now it's in the water. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that does matter though. That was the best bunker shot that I have ever seen in the history of organized sports. Not even in basketball have I seen a bunker shot that good. But now this is in the water, so I'm sure this is gonna be the exact opposite. Okay, well, the water actually matters. Okay, so good to know that the water matters. Okay, you know what? You know what? You, you wanna know what you can do? What you can do with this par three? You can shove it up your butt. This is garbage. This is garbage. Absolute garbage. Go fuck yourself. Get this fucking bullshit text off my screen. All right, not like it matters anyway, because it expects me to get this fucking marathon in five. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've made it maybe like one seventh of the distance that I need to get, and you expect me to get this in five? I had the ball at 102. And it went pretty much the same distance as the first shot that I did. So here we are on my final shot for par. We haven't even made up half of the distance. You're kidding me. They actually expected you to get this in five? Cool how they stuffed this hole on number seven. Seven of nine. So you can do six entire ones probably just to build up your score before this unfair garbage. Oh my god, I don't even think we're going to be able to get this in 8 shots. This is shot 8. Par 5. Garbage game. Okay, we got it in 8. Never mind the fact that this is total garbage. Yeah, never in a million years would anyone get that in 5. Yeah, get this garbage off my screen. You're full of shit. Camera. I, I, camera, camera, this game sucks. The final hole, thank God, at last this nightmare will end. I cannot believe they made an entire TV channel for this. I absolutely can shoot this one over the pond. You're kidding me if you think I'm not gonna try. Yes, 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 yes! All right, that, that alone just made this entire nightmare worth it. That was, that was, that was a very good shot. That was a very good shot. Goddamn right. 
Alright, so, when the game wasn't deliberately cheating, I was doing fine. But then it gave me complete garbage. Com dude, the 6 and 7 are total garbage. The rest of this game was fine, and I was on par for it, the entirety of it. Good game to get. Did you have a great time? No, it was miserable. <laughs> no, it was not fun at all, actually. Played below 36. I'm guessing that's the par, because that's garbage. Alright, well, I forgot I was in Mushroom Land. I was in there for so long. Another very good bridge. Oh, and there's a Cherokee coin right in the middle of the road. Nice. No one else has happened past this and taken that coin for themselves. No, it's all for me. All for me. I think we're about to reach the boundary of the map. Oh my god, never mind. We still have another town, apparently. Is this Snowtown? The North Pole. Santa. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, it's so bright. Oh my god, it reminds me of actual snow. I'm actually gonna go snow blind from this. Look at this! Oh, I'm flying again! Stop flying, please. Yes, there's actually a snow town. Okay. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, now this reminds me of home, and I'm not just talking about the snow. Oh my god! Turn down the exposure. <laughs> That's my tip. Wow. Okay. God, it's just pure white. This is actually North Dakota. We have found North Dakota. And we have found the North Dakota police station. As usual, I'm watching out for everyone's safety. That's why everybody can live without any worries. But... I have to look after the people of White Mountain and keep them safe so I can't leave. My little brother lives in a lighthouse. Lately I haven't heard from him and I'm worried. I know we just met, but if you spare any time, would you mind checking on my brother for me? Oh my god, we've got an actual task! Every other thing that I've done so far, I've just done out of the kindness of my heart, but this, this is an actual task that I had to accept from a guy. Oh! When they were saying White Mountain, they weren't kidding. Oh my lord, Snow Mountain. All right, whatever you say. Wow, okay, well, oh, uh, what's this? I think this is the Q's factory. I could finally put that engine that I bought on. I bought an engine like a half hour ago and I'm putting it on. Yeah, look at that. Jump in 110 power and three power energy use. I have three billboards now. So I absolutely could, if I could find a friend. I have been to every town in this game and I have yet to find even one friend. Why is this so realistic? Oh, is that Borat? No, it's an RX-7 that's drifting. Nick, what do you think about White Mountain? It is very white. <laughs> I can already hear the Kid Rock playing in the distance. There was an ocean at the end. I jumped into the water and there was a temple-like building underwater. You're telling me that Atlantis is in White Mountains River? Oh, that's, did you see that guy? Did you see the guy on the left? He just fucking fell off the cliff. That was amazing. Oh, there's Sarge. I just saw it in the ocean. Through the cave, I saw it. I heard there's a famous temple under the sea. Okay, everyone's talking about the temple under the sea. Perhaps we should investigate this temple under the sea, quote unquote. All right, let's see what kind of bodies they have up here. A Lancer, like a Ford Explorer from like the late 90s. Mini Cooper, see a lot of those around here. That's a Fiat. There's Sarge, there's a Viper. There's a Subaru Forester, that's very common around here. Fiat 500, Beetle, Old Beetle. Oh yes, the Patriot. There's a Volkswagen Golf, there's an Alpha. That is a... A um, Fiat? I don't know. That's a Lotus. That's a boss. Don't see many of those around here. That is a Beetle again. That's a van, who cares? That's a van, who cares? That's a... That's a Scion? Or a Mitsubishi? Alright, there's... I thought there would be, like, trucks and stuff in here. But, the, I mean, we have Sarge, but there's already a Sarge in this town. I feel like I'd be take, I'd be encroaching in his territory. I do like this. Oh, wait, I don't have any butt. Oh. Well, never mind. I, I've, been, I've been wasting your, your time this entire time, Mac. I'm sorry. Oh, it's so bright. 
They just, okay, so I guess cliff diving is just something that they do for fun in this town. Oh, it's just pure white. It's just pure white. I'm sorry. Turn down your brightness on your, uh, turn down your brightness settings. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, looks like we're down here now. Oh, dear. Um, well then. Okay. I don't know where I am now. Okay, so the snow just ends and then it's warm over here. Alright, sure, that makes sense. Is this just the edge of the map? I believe we've reached the edge of the map. Except I can see stuff under- is that the Loch Ness Monster? I thought for sure I just saw the shadow of the Loch Ness Monster right there. Alright, well we're in the ocean again. So this is a nice bookend. Bookend for the first episode. We're just underwater. They're, they're talking about the ancient temple. Underwater, so we're gonna have to go after this thing. Or these just might be set pieces. I don't know why this would be out here if it didn't have a purpose. Should we just do an entire episode of scuba diving? There's probably some water upgrades that I can get to uh, mitigate the slowness of being underwater. There are still structures. Is this randomly generating while I drive out? Or did they actually design the ocean to be this large? Dude, it would... What? 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 Do you think... Do you think... That if I go far enough out into this ocean, I'm gonna come back out on the other side of the map. I don't think there's a way to get out of the ocean once you're in the ocean. But like, maybe. There are still structures. I am still witnessing structures left and right. Is this what it felt like to be Christopher Columbus? I'm a subaquatic Christopher Columbus. I am finding the new world. Dude, they're still making these little jutty structures. That tells me that they put something out here. Has anyone ever fully mapped out the underwater portions of Road Trip Adventures maps? Because I feel like I'm on a true expedition right now. What's this? What's this? What is this? Is this like a meteorite? Look at this. Is this the temple that I've heard so much about? This is the most unique structure that we've seen thus far. And it's just out here like five minutes five minutes of driving in the ocean to find this. This giant dinosaur egg. Alright, well, I guess I'll continue on my merry way then. Oh no, I might have found it. I think I found the boundary. Yep. I think we've reached the end of the, of the, of the trip. Here it is. The upper left-hand corner of the map. Ting. Made it. Alright, let's warp to the garage. So I have visited every town at this point. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, I missed out on some things. Don't you fear viruses? <laughs> 2020, the email. We can't attach files to this email system, so there's nothing to worry about. Ha ha ha. Alright, well that's good. Vlad, I had a dream that I could fly. It was amazing. I was over this town, but it looks so different from dreaming. You mean from Ken. Dear Vlad, I'm not smart, but I can race. Can I be your teammate in the future? Yes. Hello, Vlad. I'm saucy. I lived in Chestnut Canyon. I finally built the park I always wanted. Many children come to play. It's all because of you. Come see it sometime. Romance of engines. Is there romance to low mileage engines? Using it produces great speed, but uses lots of fuel. I think it's cool that it exists only for speed and not for convenience of, or saving. Guys, I found the gas industry executive. All right. I'm your supporter. Come on. I know you can do much better. <laughs> this is like every NASCAR driver's DMs. Your last race was great. I was so excited that I couldn't go to sleep. Why are you so awesome? I should paint my body the same color of, as yours. How embarrassing. Looking forward to your next race. Dear Yoko, I had a great time yesterday. I sent this to the email address you told me. I hope you get this. Tell me how you like the tire I bought you. Okay. I'm sure this is an unexpected message. We would like to form your fan club. Email messages from the fans will be sent to you directly. Wow. That's, that's, that's a conflict of interest right there. After reading this letter, send it to 600 people within the next 15 minutes and bark like a dog. If you don't, you will have bad luck forever. If you do, then your dreams will come true. Damn. 
I got a four. I don't even have how many. I don't have any. I don't have any addresses to send to, and I don't have any other patterns either. Alright, well I guess we're gonna have to check out my city just to see what kind of nonsense has gone up gotten up to from here. Oh, it's all oh, there's more stuff than there was before. We got a tower on our hands. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this infrastructure. They built this in how long? Tower. It's tall, very tall. That's what she said. Hey, because of you, I was able to build this awesome tower. Thank you very much. Take a look now. Do you want to climb the t Yes, I want to climb the tower. Hee <laughs> hee, it's tall. Is this a mini game? No. <laughs> no, we just end up here. Oh, what? we're on the top. We're on the top. We have poofed onto the top and we're coming down. Oh, there's a second layer. And I'm falling even further now. Whee! Well, that did not hurt as much as I thought it would. Oh, no. Um... I appear to be locked out of my town. Um... Help? Why is there a fence around this town? That's uncool. I literally can't get in. This is insanity. So that's my house, which is very underwhelming. Oh yeah, I can go to the recycle shop and sell some useless stuff. Hello. Take my parts. Okay, you can have Panther Engine. It was not great. Normal chassis, that's worthless. Normal wheel. 250 for the normal wheel. Wow. That's only 720 butt now. It's enough to buy a body, I guess. You know, that's that's a problem. We don't have a we don't unlock bodies by winning races anymore. I'm the fastest racer, no one can beat me. Did you see that big tower? It's the tallest tower. The tower and I are the best in the world. Anyway, I heard you race too. As you can see, I'm very fast. Anyone who teams up with me is lucky. What do you think? Don't you want to team up with me? Yes! Friend! Arnold! Arnold! You, I won't allow you to be the last in the race. Arnold is now on your team! Yes! I've made a friend! Let's go! I didn't know you were a fast racer. I'm surprised. I, Arnold, the world's best, will give you credit. Amazing. Yes! I finally made a friend! Let's go! Welcome to my city cinemas. You must be. I'm George from Sandopolis. He was able to build this nice movie theater all because of you. We're still working on the theater. Will you come again after the ending? Oh, we had. Oh, this is post-game stuff. Whoops. Sorry. I, I, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to look at this until the post-game. Sorry, that's my bad. Oh, is that the email notification sound effect? Wow, some swing set. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, there's a slide. Please tell me that we can go on the slide. I need this. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Dude. It doesn't work. <laughs> no. It doesn't work. Oh, that's so disappointing. Well... What's this? It's a weird, like, Mexican architecture building. You built a big house all because of me. His game is the greatest. I thought people would come all over the world to try it. They won't fit in a small house, but this house is big. They'll all fit. Do I like games? You go and play against me? Play Tunnel Race. Okay, let's do the Tunnel Race. Oh my! What is this? Oh, we got speed though. Oh! Oh, they're fast. Oh, they're fast. Oh, he's not very good at the game, but neither am I, so it's all good. Oh, 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 this is so bad. Oh, this game. Oh. Okay, well, that was the end. Boo! Are you kidding me? I almost won that. This was the first game I can ac actually do. No, I don't want. No, come. Okay, fine. We'll do that game later. Played the tunnel race. Wow, that was quite the game. Okay, well. Tch. Who are you? Oh, it's Saucy! Seeing the children play in the park moved me to tears. I'm very happy to have built a park. It's a very nice park. 
See you later. Alright, see ya. I cannot believe that I have finally made a friend. Let's go, dude. Dear boss. Boss, I need a raise. No. <laughs> Who's Joe? I have yet to meet anyone named Joe. Okay, let's finish this session off with another, uh, the other Mushroom Road race. Okay, so, we got Slick Track. Let's give it a shot, Dean. Let's give it a shot. Ugh. Oh, dear. That was not nearly as good as the burp that I had at the start of the road. Oh, here we go. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a Slick Track. Wow, so these guys are perfectly capable of racing in ovals in the rain, but NASCAR isn't? Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Oh, this is very awkward. Look at this. This is like, this is like Trenton. Okay, it's not like Trenton. Oh, it's not like Trenton. Well, I just ended that man's life. That wasn't very cool of me, I'll admit. But you, you, you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? In the world of racing, you know, friends come second. I think I'm fast enough to win this. See, just because of this straight line right here, this is just like... Isn't this the exact same track as the Peach track? Like, this is almost identical. Oh, I'm coming for your ass, GT. I've just drifted this entire lap. No one can touch me. If, oh man, if only I could find the A86 body. This would be the perfect track for the A86 body. There's no unique paint schemes in this game like in Choro Q, though, I don't think. It's only the two-tone, which is good. Two-tone is good. But it's not, but it's not, you know, the custom-made, perfect paint schemes of your. You needed to buy specific wet tires in Gran Turismo to be able to run wet races. But not in this game, you know. Not in this game. In this game, you know, it just... Oh! Oh, he's bumping me! No! I refuse to let you in! No, 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 not I... No, I led! I was leading! Come on, go, 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 go! Accelerate! Come on, car! Go! Where is he at? Where is he at? I win! Oh, he was actually slow. Oh, look, my friend! My friend was in this race. He's doing terrible! He's in 17th! I thought you were the best in the world! Do I really have to wait for him to finish the race before we get to move on? Do I get his prize money? This game is great. 800 but Arnold got no money, so... That sucks. Okay, that means that I need to give parts to Arnold now. Okay, so Arnold has normal tires, normal engine, normal chassis, normal transmission, normal steering, normal pad, normal wheel, no headlights, no wing, no options, no stickers. Arnold, you're disappointing me, and I cannot change his body. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll give him the billboard at least. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have sold all my extra parts. Perhaps that was a haste, haste, hastefully decision. Perhaps I could have made better, better judgment there. But, um, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all good. It's everyone, everything's okay. We're gonna save the game. It's all good. Anyway, this has been some more. A road trip adventure. This game is so much fun, dude. I, I, I mean, after all the stressful games that I've played, like MX Unleashed, LA Rush, ATV Off-Road Fury, NASCAR 2005 on occasion, you know, after all those stressful games, this has been a nice break in the agony. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next part of this game, whenever that may be. Bye! You can you just be like, oh, ah, like a fucking banshee. This video just ends immediately. It knows. It knows. Oh god. Oh, it's so bad. Why? Why would I do this? Why would I allow this to exist? What have I done? No. What have I done? Uh, holy shit.